Welcome to our vlog. In today's video, we were talking about the gene therapy. Join us as we explore the world of gene therapy and share some valuable insights. So, without further ado, let's jump right in. Genes make us who we are. Are we tall or short? Do we have blue eyes or brown? Our genes hold the answer. What if part of a gene is defective or missing? Or if a gene changes or mutates? It can cause a disease like cancer. Enter gene therapy. Among other things, scientists can replace a bad gene with one that is healthy, add a new gene to perform the function of a defective or missing gene, or they can turn off a problem gene. How do they do it? Say scientists want to add back a healthy copy of a gene to cells. They need an efficient way to do it. So scientists use vectors or vehicles to deliver a gene. The healthy gene hitches a ride in the vector. Viruses are one kind of vector. Scientists modify a virus to remove its ability to cause a disease. The modified virus can then be used to carry the healthy gene into a cell. Gene therapy can happen on cells inside the body or can happen on cells outside and then transplanted back in again. Genes make us who we are. What is gene therapy? Gene therapy is a medical approach that aims to treat or prevent diseases by modifying the genetic material within an individual's cell. It involves introducing functional genes into a patient's cells to replace or supplement faulty or missing genes that are causing the disease. There are several techniques using gene therapy, but most common approach involves the use of viral vectors. Viral vectors are modified viruses that are, that are unable to cause disease but can deliver genetic material into cells. The viral vector is engineered to carry the desired therapeutic gene, which is then introduced into the patient's cells either in, in vitro or in vivo. Once the therapeutic gene is delivered into the cells, it can start producing the protein or RNA molecule that is necessary to correct the underlying genetic defect or suppress the activity of a disease causing the gene. The modified genes can integrate into the patient's DNA or remain separate in the cell, depending on the specific therapy. Gene therapy holds potential for the treatment of various genetic disorders such as cystic fibrosis, muscular dystrophy, and hemophilia. It can cause also be used for certain types of cancer as well as non-genetic diseases by targeting specific genes or cells involved in the disease process. It is important to note that gene therapy is still a developing field and many aspects including safety, efficiency, and long-term effects are still being studied and improved. Rigorous research, clinical trials, and regulatory process are necessary to ensure the safety and effectiveness of the gene therapies before they can widely adopt as standard treatments. How does gene therapy work? Gene therapy works by replacing the defective gene, changing the genetic information of population of What are the strategies being used in gene therapy? There are several strategies being used in gene therapy, including 1. Gene replacement therapy. This involves adding a functional copy of a gene to replace a mutated or non functional gene. Number 2. Gene editing. This involves editing the genetic code to correct or remove a disease causing mutation. Number 3. Genome editing. This technique uses molecular scissors to edit the genome directly, allowing 
for prices changes to be made to the end. Number 4. CRISPR This is a powerful genome editing tool that uses a bacterial enzyme, Cas9, to make prices cuts in the DNA. It is used to correct genetic mutations, add or remove genes, or regulate gene expression. Number 5. Geni Augmentation This involves adding extra copies of a geni to increase its expression and restore normal function. Number 6. Viral Victors these are used to deliver the trophotic genes into cells. Modified viruses are used as delivery vehicles to target and infect specific cells with the trophotic gene. Number 7. Non-viral vectors. These are non-viral delivery systems such as nanoparticles or liposomes that can be used to deliver trophotic genes into cells. Number 8. Gene silencing. This strategy uses the ability of certain molecules such as CERNA or antisense oligonucleotides to turn off disease, causing genes by blocking the production of proteins they code for. What are the uses of gene therapy? Gene therapy is a promising approach for treating a wide range of disease and disorders. Here are some of the potential uses of gene therapy. First is inherited genetic disorders gene therapy can be used to treat inherited genetic disorders such as cystic fibrosis sickle cell anemia and hemophilia second cancer gene therapy can be used to modify a patient's own immune cells to recognize and attack cancer cells third is cardiovascular disease gene therapy can be used to deliver genes that produce proteins that can promote the growth of new blood vessels which can help treat conditions such as peripheral artery disease. Number 4. Neurological Disorders Gene therapy can be used to replace or repair defective genes that cause neurological disorders such as Parkinson's disease, Alzheimer's disease, and Huntington's disease. And the last is diabetics. Gene therapy can be used to deliver genes that can help regulate blood sugar levels, which could potentially cure type 1 diabetes. Those are the potential uses of gene therapy. It's worth noting that gene therapy is still an emerging field, and while there have been some promising results and clinical trials, there is still much to learn about the safety and efficacy of these treatments. What is the basic process of gen therapy? First, gen therapy has now become a relatively simple process, which the basic of the process are the, are the identification of the gen in the question, duplication of the gen, and insertion of the gen into the human, human genome, needing the gen or also called a CIS. Um, next is that the gen that needs to be altered or replaced must be identified. 